The Recruit began as a humorous and suspenseful spy adventure series starring Noah Centineo Zoe and Hendrix, but as the series went, it morphed into a more romantic-tinged espionage caper. The romantic aspect stems from two distinct connections. Owen is still in love with his ex-girlfriend Hannah, but he still has affections for the homicidal Maxine Mellets. In the season finale, WTFIOH, I'm assuming this is, who the F is Owen Hendrix. Owen's love triangle becomes entangled in the dangerous world of Russian intelligence. The effort to obtain the bribery money has gone awry, and one American agent has been killed. Lester and Violet are the first to arrive. Lester swiftly cleans the hotel room and collects all of the evidence in a suitcase and bags. Violet arrives just as the cops arrive to assist him in fleeing the crime scene. Meanwhile, Owen and Melitz have fled aboard a train bound for Germany. Owen's still in shock after seeing Xander dead. He blames Melanz for the tragedy, but she doubts Carol would have acted so quickly. She believes that an assassin was dispatched to kill them, and that Xander was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. They have a target on their backs now. Melitz throws his phone out the window as Owen checks his phone to see whether he has any texts. The scheme CIA participants gather for an online briefing. This introduces us to Nyland's boss, Nathan Fillion, who wishes to close down the unsuccessful enterprise. Gilbane persuades him otherwise by stressing Melitz's importance as an asset. He offers her 24 hours to discover the asset or the operation will be shut down. Melitz calls Gilbane after Owen steals a nun's phone. She certifies that they are still safe to meet in Germany. Then Owen uses the phone to photograph Melitz's notebook, which he had stolen earlier. He dials Janice and hands over the Russian intelligence he's just discovered inside. This revelation has the potential to save Janice and Owen from their present scandal. Then Owen and Melitz drive to Gilbane's base. Along the way, she informs Owen that Gilbane is using phony assets to steal CIA funds, which they would use against her in the future. They are shackled and taken as prisoners when they arrive at the base. Gilbane has lost faith in them after Xander's death. Hannah and Terence are concerned about Owen's safety after stumbling into the crime scene and inform Violet of their findings at the embassy. Hannah utilizes her mother's White House connections to learn about Owen's whereabouts and whether or not he is still alive. This informs Kevin Mills, who is alerted that someone is looking in places they shouldn't be. He confronts Nyland about the situation. Nyland brings it up in his next meeting, asking Owen to turn off his radio for the time being. This second encounter yields some new information. They have been kept up to date on Xander's death and the likely causes. Then Lester refers to Marta as Nishka Lashin, the lady who tried to woo Owen in the hotel bar and is definitely involved in all of this insanity. Gilbane arranges the meeting with Lev while the mission is still active. They drive to this wintry site in a vehicle equipped with a mobile operations center from which they can view an aerial feed of the area through a drone in the sky. Gilbane and her men then set out on foot to ensure that everything is in order before closing the perimeter. Melads is worried about the transaction and kisses Owen goodbye. The novice lawyer listens to the deal, before exiting the truck to take a pee. Owen notices a column of Russian cars passing by and warns Gilbane that it is an ambush. Melads gets fired at, but Lev believes it's all her fault, that she prepared the ambush herself. A gunfight ensues, with Gilbane and her forces battling Lev's crew and an unknown Russian convoy. It's anarchy, and Owen, of course, pushes himself right into the center of it. He steals a Russian's rifle and proceeds to Melitz. Owen discovers Marta, Nishka in the middle of the firefight and attempts to murder him as well. Owen bolts, headed for Melitz's help. Things truly start to fall bad at this point, as Owen kills a guy to save Melitz's life. Melitz assures Lev that it wasn't her fault, but he doesn't believe her, so she murders him as well. Owen and Melitz escape in a vehicle and make their way to Prague. Melitz inquires as to who is shooting at them, and Owen mentions Nishka. Melitz says that Nishka has been pressing the council to have her assassinated for the entire time. Owen is clearly in shock after murdering a man and surviving a full-fledged gunfight. He asks to escape the automobile, but Melads won't stop driving. Melads rushes to Owen's side as he leaps off the rushing car. Owen resigns and begins to walk away from the criminal. Melads, on the other hand, draws her revolver on him. Owen finds this hilarious, understanding that he's made so many sacrifices for a lady who would rather murder him than let him go. Owen said he tried to save her but she would never change. He understands he is a selfish guy who has damaged those who love him the most. Melads' threats are ignored by the lawyer, who continues to move away from her. Melads cannot bring herself to shoot him and instead lets Owen go. He contacts Hannah, who happens to be in Prague at the time. They want to gather at the war memorial. The two are reunited, but Owen is abducted and held captive seconds afterwards. He awakens in a cellar, bound, with Melads bound opposite him. Nishka approaches them. Melads refers to her as Carolina. Nishka appears to be Melads' daughter. Nishka then shoots her mother and asks Owen why he has been following her mother around all these time. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.